Welcome to the channel. Thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the five secrets to Lightroom perfection. Let's jump straight into the video. So number one on my list is nothing to do with Adobe Lightroom at all. It's actually to do with your camera. Now let me show you what this is. Hopefully the camera will focus here. And there it is. What you want to be doing is making sure your camera shoots in raw file format and not JPEG. Now the reason for this is very simple. Now the raw is uncompressed, has all the data and you can stretch and pull uh, the data about making the images enhanced in Lightroom. With the JPEG, it's the finished product compressed down by your camera, applied the color science from the camera and it's the finished article. It's kind of like a loaf of bread with a raw file format being the dough that's stretchy and the JPEG being the cooked loaf of bread that no longer can be pulled about. So make sure you shoot in raw file format and that's gonna give you the best results in Lightroom. Let's jump on to number two. So number two, and again, this has nothing to do with Adobe Lightroom. It's pretty amazing, ain't it? You've clicked on a video to learn about Adobe Lightroom and the first two steps have nothing to do with Adobe Lightroom. But number two is very simply, get everything right in camera with your image before loading it into Adobe Lightroom. And what I mean by this is, so many times I see this with newcomers to Adobe Lightroom, they take an average picture and then try to enhance it and pull it out in Lightroom to make it a better picture. It's kind of like taking a Ford Focus and trying to turn it into a Lamborghini, when really you want to be starting off with a Lamborghini and polishing it up in Adobe Lightroom. Make sure your composition and everything is right in camera first before you load it up into Lightroom and you're gonna get super, super results. So that's tip number two. Make sure you get everything right in camera before loading it up into Lightroom. Let's jump on to number three. So tip number three, and you'll be glad to know this does actually use Lightroom. So let's jump into Lightroom. And I've loaded up this image here just as reference, uh, just so we've got something to look at. But the third tip is really, really important, and it's important as a novice to understand this or a beginner that's using Lightroom. So it's one of the mistakes that I made when I first started using Lightroom. And that is the belief that there's one way and only one way to enhance every photo out there using Lightroom. And that simply isn't the case. Every photo will need adjusting in different ways to enhance it. Now there's also a follow up to this, which is there's no right way or wrong way to edit a photo in Lightroom. It's down to your own personal preference and make sure that nobody tells you that you're doing it wrong. It all comes down to your own personal taste. And that's what's great about Lightroom. It's non-destructive, meaning that at any point you can go back and reset it. It's not baked into your image. For example, this image here of this train, uh, for example, on this particular image, we may need to you may think that lowering the highlights enhances the image, but if this was taken at night, it might need the highlights raising. Uh, at any moment, because it's not baked into the image, we can always go back by double clicking it on any of the sliders. And that's really important to note, whilst there's guidelines to follow in Lightroom, and it's important to understand how all the tools and sliders work, uh, there's no one fix for every photo. So that's tip number three. Make sure you understand that Lightroom is not one way to fix every photo out there. Let's jump on to tip number four. So on to tip number four, and it is something that I was uh, guilty of when I first started to use Lightroom some, some years ago now. And that is just because the sliders can go all the way up to 100% and down to zero, doesn't mean that we should overdo it. This is a lot of newcomers or novices or beginners to Lightroom do, and I was certainly guilty of it. I would take this image here, I would whack up the saturation to 100, I'd lower the highlights down to naught or minus 100, raise the shadows to plus 100, uh, higher the texture, maybe raise the clarity, go into the detail and raise the sharpness up and really overdo the image. Now, what you want to think of is your photos that you're editing in Lightroom as fine art prints and you're just touching them up with a fine artist brush. 
you don't want to be slapping them with a fence painting brush you know like like you find in the shed like you, your old man would have in the shed it's all bent and bristled up and broken go gently with it just because you can raise something to 100 or lower it to 100 doesn't mean you should you're going to get much better results if you just adjust them very very slightly so that's tip number four don't overdo it let's go on to number five so on to tip number five and this one is absolutely insane so many people i see doing this and that is just because we've got all these amazing tools in lightroom we've got all these sliders we've got highlights shadows color adjust tone curve color grading detail sharpening transform effects it doesn't mean we have to use them all uh, once your photo has reached its potential don't need to keep adding and adding and adding it works really well with number four here and where we're talking about overdoing the sliders going from 100 to zero what we find is a lot of beginners go through all the tabs on the right hand side and they work through them they feel they have to use every tool in Lightroom to enhance their image when really they've already enhanced it enough to the point where it's done and then they overdo it and it kills the image the way to think about this is imagining you're making the perfect lasagna and you've got your herbs and spice rack out. Now you wouldn't pick up every herb and every spice and throw every one of them into your lasagna, would you? It'd ruin the dish. So it's about selecting the tools that are going to work for your particular photo and making sure you only use them. You don't have to use every tool in Lightroom to enhance your photos. Oh well, we've reached the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed them five top tips there. Um, you will get much better results if you just follow these and work carefully in Lightroom. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. If you want to see further videos from myself, hit that subscribe button if you can find it. Have you noticed they've changed the color of it now from red to black somewhere down there? Uh, if you want to see further videos, make sure you find that subscribe button. But for now, that's it. We'll catch up in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching. See you soon, guys.